Okay, so whenever we are dealing with a patient of raised ICP or potential of having raised ICP like cerebrovascular accident, ischemic infarct or intracranial bleed or traumatic brain injury, one of the parameters in neuromonitoring is pupillary size and pupillary asymmetry. So whenever there is a unilateral dilatation of the pupil, we assume that now the ICP has raised and there is the patient is at the risk of brain herniation and the patient should be immediately taken to the surgery after CT scan. So, but understand that the brain is divided into two compartments for this understanding people, supratentorial and infratentorial. So, what happens in the supratentorial herniation, the temporal lobe descends and when it descends, the oculomotor nerve is uh, very close to it. And because of the oculomotor nerve compression and other mechanism, the pupillary dilatation starts and it becomes sluggish reaction to light. So that's why we understand that now uh, the uh, ICP has raised in this side and we need to do a CT scan and take the patient for surgery. But while in the infratentorial part, what happens in when the infratentorial part ascends or the herniates in this direction, it first compresses the brain stem and oculometer nerve is compressed later on. So pupillary dilatation is not a good sign for neuromonitoring in posterior circulation swar. In fact, the patient respiratory pattern will change, the patient will pool secretion, the patient will become drowsy. So these are the signs in posterior circulation starts. So do read more about it. Thank you.